Hi, very good day to everyone. My name is Tanjan son of Basker, Metal number F1 ID0194. So today I'm going to present for the video presentation assignment for the course Introduction to Immunology with the code is FTE43333. And the topic that has been given to us for the introduction of the assignment is that positive and negative selection of T lymphocytes. So, as before we go to the main topic, let me introduce my team members also, which is, we are from group 11, and my name is Tanindran, as you know, and next our team members are, Yuki Tanijing, Alan Lee Junzian, Firesha Sokan, and Cha Weni. So as we before go to the positive and negative selection of T lymphocytes, so we need to know the introduction of what is lymphocyte. It's a type of lymphocyte and a white blood cell that plays a key role in the body's immune system. Lymphocytes are critical because they are influenced how specific a person's immunology reaction is to a foreign subject substance. So lymphocyte is a constituent somewhere in the range of 20 to 40 percent of the total number of white blood cells found in the adult human. They circulate and are concentrated in the lymphoid organs and tissues itself. So as an example of the lymphoid organ cell tissue is the spleen, tonsils and lymph nodes where the immune response begins. So following on the T cell, so let's define it. So T cell is a key component of the immune system in the T known commonly as T lymphocytes. When it comes to determining the specific CT of the immune response to uh, antigens, which means it's a foreign substance itself, T cells are the two primary types of lymphocytes, the other being of B cells. The bone marrow produces the T lymphocytes which mature in the tumors. So T cells, also called as T lymphocytes, are major components of the adaptive immune system. Their roles include directly killing infected host cells, activating other immune cells, producing cytokinesis and regulating the immune response itself. Components of T cells T lymphocytes that have not yet encountered their specific antigen are referred to as naive T lymphocytes. Naive T lymphocytes are interact with the antigen presenting the cells, APCs, which is also known as APCs in the peripheral lymphoid organ. So T cells multiply and specialize after recognizing their unique antigens. Affected T lymphocytes interact with the host cells and to function as a non pathogen. T cells bind MHC with co-receptors. CD4 and CD8 are receptors. CD proteins distinguish affected T cells and CD8 are another component of T cells that become cytotoxic. And following up, the next component is CD4 plus T cells can be become specialized T helper lymphocytes. So as I was mentioning, types of T cells. <clears throat> we have three types of T cells, also known as T lymphocytes. So we have cytotoxic T lymphocyte, T helper cells, and the memory T cell. So what is cytotoxic T lymphocytes? It kills the target cells by releasing the granules. These cells recognize their unique antigen, which is known as, such as the viral pieces of it, on the MHC class 1 molecules on all the nucleate cells. CD8 on the lymph synthetic T cells interact with the MHC class 1 cells are triggered by the dendritic and T helper cells. 
and follow up. Their main function is to eliminate virally infected cells. They are also kill bacterial or tumor cells also. Their function to it is to kill the bacterial and tumor cells. So that's the function of cyto cytotoxic T lymphocytes. So following on the T help cells, also known as TH. So can differentiate it into several different subtypes of including TH1, TH2, and TH17, TH cells, and regulating the T cells which have the wide range of effector activities of T helper cells. So T helper cells, when they are exposed to the peptide antigens MHC class 2 molecules have become activated. APCs displays their characteristics on their surfaces. So when they are exposed, the peptide antigens on the MHC class 2 molecules that become activated APC displays of their characteristics on their surface. The T helper cells mainly after allowing their cells to type to be more easily identified by the T helper cells to fight against the immune system's problems which is faced by them. So CD4 plus as the one of the components of T helper cells, T cells have a role to activation of the other immune cells. They release the cytokinesis of lymphocytes and the production of antibody by the B lymphocyte. The adaptive immune response is the shape activated and regulated in the part of their action. And so finally, we are going for the final type of T cell with the memory T cells. So following an infection, memory T cell long lived and antigen specific that are formed on the memory T cell. So as a result of the ability to rapidly proliferate into the vast number of effector T cells following the re-exposure to the antigen, memory T lymphocytes are essential. So as a result of the ability of the rapidly proliferated vast numbers of effector T cells the T lymphocytes are essential and they aid on the immune system by serving as the respiratory of the antigens encountered both CD4 and CD8 memory. T cells originate in the bone marrow, then migrate and mature in the thymus. Eventually, T cells will migrate to the lymph nodes where they can become even more differentiated. From here, depending on the cell type, a host of cytokines are secreted and each of these cytokines have a unique function. The T cell precursors are naked cells in bone marrow. After entering the thymus, the T cell precursor or thymocyte will get both CD4 and CD8 receptors on their surface which enable them to bind to both MHC class 1 and 2. Hence, for further specialization, the cells will go through both positive and negative selection. In the final process, the specialized T cell will either with either CD4 receptor or CD8 receptor are produced. The positive and negative selection can be considered as a training process for the T cell to distinguish whether the molecule that is provided by MHC1 or 2 is a self or non-self molecule when engaging in the interaction with the antigen presenting cell APC. Positive selection occurs in the thymic cortex to allow only the T cells that combine to self MHC to survive. So, it selects the T cells that bind to self MHC, either MHC class 1 or 2, because T cells must bind to our own cells in order to function properly. They bind to antigen presenting cells and other normal cells to mount an immune response. Thymic epithelial cells that are present in the thymus will express these self and have MHC molecules, which then interact with the developing T cells. If T cells cannot adequately bind to this MHC molecule, then they undergo apoptosis. T cells, they are 
able to successfully bind to self MHC will go on to the next step of the T cell development, which is term negative selection. After positive selection, the T cell will express either CD4 or CD8, but not both. Now let's look at the figure here. The immature thymocytes, notice that at the beginning of the positive selection, they have their T cell receptor. They also have CD4 and CD8 on the surface. The T cell acquires each of these shortly. After arriving at the thymus to select for T cell, they recognize self MHC by exposing these thymocytes to self MHC molecules on thymic epithelial cells. A thymic epithelial cell has MHC1 and MHC2 on its surface with a sampling of peptides for the T cell receptor to bind. T cell they are failed to bind to this will undergo apoptosis while the T cells they can bind to MHC are keep alive. After positive selection, the cell stops displaying both CD4 and CD8. Hello doctor, my name is Risha Sogun. Today I will be presenting about negative selection of T cell. Negative selection of T cell is another process of T cell development, which is also known as central tolerance. Uh, negative selection is the process to eliminate any uh, developing T cell that are reactive to itself. And uh, negative selection is essential to proper immune cell function because it helps to ensure that mature T cell uh, do not recognize its uh, self antigens as foreign microbes. The process of negative selection of T cells primarily occurs in the thymic medulla. Negative selection selects uh, against T cells that bind too tightly to self antigen. This is an important process because uh, it is important in eliminating T cell that is unable to undergo intracellular cell recognition and T cell that bind too tightly to self antigen undergoes apoptosis and become T regulatory cell. So during negative selection, all thermocytes with high affinity uh, for binding cell peptide presented on MHC class 1 or class 2 are induced to uh, upregulate to a protein which drives apoptosis. Cells which do not have a high affinity for self antigen usually survive negative selection. So at this stage, some cells are also uh, selected to become regulatory T cell which um, have an intermediate affinity for self peptide. If self uh, negative selection fails, autoimmune disorder may occur where T cell becomes more self reactive and attack its own cells. Now I'm going to talk about the similarities and difference between positive and negative selection of T cells. First, I'm going to talk about the similarities. Both play an important role in mediating adaptive immune responses. Both are two processes responsible for T cells development. They are also involved in maturation process of T cells. Moreover, both selection processes take place in the thymus. Presentation of cell antigen is a common occurrence in both processes. Both are essential to maintain the immune system in the correct functionality. Besides, both of processes occur at the development stage of CD4 plus and CD8 plus T cells. There are also some differences between positive and negative selection of T cells. The key difference between positive and negative selection of T cells is based on how the antigen presentation takes place. In the positive selection of T cells, the antigen presentation takes place directly where the association between AMHC class 1 and class 2, which is resulting in double positive T cells that can either lead to CD4 plus or CD8 plus cells. In contrast, during the negative selection of T cells, antigen presenting cells like macrophages incorporate the antigen to the T cells that mainly lead to the activation of apoptosis which result in the cell death of thymocytes. 
Even though both positive and negative selection of T-cells take place in the thymus, the region of the thymus where each process takes place in differs. Moreover, positive selection takes place in the cortex of the thymus, while negative selection takes place in the medulla of the thymus. Besides, positive selection does not have the ability to activate apoptosis while the negative selection can activate death signals and activate apoptosis. Furthermore, the positive selection cannot suppress autoimmune reactions while the negative selection can prevent the production of cells that are capable of cell reacting. This minimizes the risk of autoimmune responses. Lastly, in a natural context, positive selection takes place first while negative selection takes place after positive selection. Hi, I'm Alan. I'm going to explain about the importance of positive and negative selection of T cell. The maturation of thymocyte is dependent on the positive selection of T cell which are responsible for this process. On the other hand, the negative selection of T cell is what prevents the formation of cell reactive T cell. Therefore, this is still a, another distinction that can be made between positive and negative selection of T cell. In conclusion, the positive selection of T cell take place as a result of interaction of TCR or mature T cell uh, with self antigen that are given by thymocyte along with the HLA complex. In addition, the formation of CD4 and CD8 receptors is a direct result of this process. Besides that, the negative selection of T cell happens when the TCR or the mature T cell have a powerful interaction with the self antigen that are that are found on thymocyte. This result the elimination of T cell that that are already present in the body. Subsequently, the this process leads to the death of cell with, uh, by a process which is known as apoptosis, which uh, stop the production of self reactive T cell. The impact that the impact that the the impact that the selection process has on thymocyte is therefore the primary factor that differentiates the positive and negative selection of T-cell.